juiciest of Apex cards we have seen in a while. Yeah, uh, UFC Vegas 93 wasn't all that awesome, but you know what? I'm not going to complain because we had fights on a Saturday, and I'll take it. But I will say I'm excited for UFC Saudi Arabia because, fingers crossed, it's going to be more interesting. And just looking at the card, I can already tell you it will be. And the first fight out of a few that I'm going to talk about is Kelvin Gastelum versus Daniel Rodriguez. This will be a fun fight, these two little scrappy guys. I cannot wait to see what happens because both of these guys are coming off of losses. Now, Daniel, he hasn't won in almost two years, so he's going to have that itch. He also is a little older. He's five years older. He's 37. He's a little taller and does have a few inch reach advantage. Both of these guys do mostly win their fights by knockout. So Obviously, that's probably going to be their tactic. Here's the thing, though. If you saw the Chris Curtis fight with Kelvin Gastelum, then you know he can take a lot. I mean, a lot. So, that's going to work in his favor, obviously, against Rodriguez. And I'm just always excited to see Gastelum fights after seeing that one. You know he's going to show up and show out no matter what. And coming off of a loss, um, a recent loss... He's going to try to get back in that win column, just like Daniel, except I think he's going to try a little harder. I don't know if he's going to be able to knock Daniel Rodriguez out because he is also scrappy too, but if it does go to decision, I think Gastelum's going to win there. And honestly, I could see it going to decision because I don't think either one of these guys are going to give up. So give me Gastelum in this one. Next up is Sergei Pavlovich versus Alexander Volkov, and you want to talk about a slugfest? These two mostly win their fights by knocking their opponents out. Sergei, he's knocking his dudes out 83% of the time. Alex, usually about 65% of the time. Now, Sergei, he's coming off of a loss. Alex, he is on a three-fight win streak. Also, Alex has almost... It's over double the amount of fights than Sergey does if you look at his resume. Yeah, experience doesn't always equate into wins, but it definitely helps if you have to be scrappy. And if both of these guys are trying to knock each other out and it's not working, he can always use the submission tactic. Sergey hasn't submit no one ever at all. Look at his resume. So submitting's not going to be an option for him. It's going to be difficult, though, for Alexander to... Uh, submit Sergey because you kind of need a neck and he doesn't have one to do that with so that's going to be a little challenging with this I don't know I think he could knock Ser Sergey out I think that could absolutely be an option but if it does go the distance I think Alexander is just going to be smarter than him with all that experience he's going to be more technically sound he's going to have a better fight IQ I think so for this, I think he's going to keep the win streak going, so give me Alexander. Go with the V. And last up, the main event, Robert Whitaker versus Igaram Aliskarov. This fight is interesting because what tactic's going to work here? So Whitaker, he likes to usually let things go to decision. Aliskarov, he likes to usually knock his opponents out. He does have a three-inch reach of advantage over Whitaker, which obviously is going to help him if he's trying to knock Whitaker out. Now, Whitaker, he does have a lot of experience. He is a vet in this, so he's going to try everything he possibly can. He's no stranger to going all five rounds. He's gone the distance, so he can do it. He's got the gas tank for it. However, Aliskarov, He's on a seven fight win streak right now. This guy is on fire. And I think he's really in the groove of things. He knows what works for him. This will be a challenge for him compared to other fighters that he's had on his resume. But I think he's up for it. And I hate to see Whitaker get knocked out. But that might be the case in this situation. However, you let me know what you think. Are there fights that you're more interested in? Like, subscribe, comment, and we can talk about this together. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. I love following these fights from the early prelims to the main event. It's what I do on Saturdays. Also, I love all sports, so we can talk about all kinds of different stuff. I'm usually posting random silly things up there, but you let me know what you think. And, uh, you know... I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that this is much better and different than last weekend, but I think we're safe with that one. But you know what time it is. Let's get it. Hey.